Conquering Casual Communication, Mastering Informal Sentence Structures in English. Hello language enthusiasts! Today, we're going to dive into a fun and practical aspect of English language learning, understanding informal sentence structure characteristics. This knowledge is vital if you want to sound more natural in casual conversations, text messages, or informal writing. So, let's get started. Informal sentence structure, unlike its formal counterpart, is more relaxed and conversational. It often reflects the way we speak in everyday life. Here are some common traits of informal sentence structures. Fragmented sentences. These are incomplete sentences that still make sense in context. For example, what's up? Or, see you later. Use of contractions. We tend to use shortened forms of words or phrases. For instance, I'm, instead of, I am, don't, instead of, do not, etc. Use of slang and colloquial expressions. Such language is often used in informal settings. Examples include, wanna, for, want to, or, gonna, for, going to. Let's see some examples to understand this better. 1. Fragmented sentences. Formal, I am planning to go to the concert. Would you like to join me? Informal, gonna hit up the concert. Wanna come? 2. Use of contractions. Formal, I will not be able to attend the meeting tomorrow. Informal, can't make it to the meeting tomorrow. 3. Use of slang and colloquial expressions. Formal, she is very attractive and she knows it. Informal, she's a total knockout and she knows it. While mastering informal sentence structure is great, it's equally important to know when to use it. Use informal language with friends, peers, and in casual settings. However, Remember that in formal situations, professional settings, or academic writing, it's best to stick to formal language. And that wraps up our exploration of informal sentence structures in English. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try using these structures in your everyday conversations. You'll sound more natural, and it'll also help you better understand native English speakers. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you found this video helpful. Happy learning!